Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 10 and Windows 11 in the Insider program both come with a watermark that gets displayed here in the bottom right hand corner of the desktop as many of you may well know. Now this watermark displays and shows the version and build number and as an example it's quite handy if say you are in the Windows 11 Insider program in the Dev and Beta channels because those builds as I do post on do get updated quite regularly so it's just a quick and easy way to check whether you are up to date or not. Now obviously with the rollout of the stable version and the stable builds of Windows 11 this watermark gets removed but if you'd like to add it back in the stable version of Windows 11 it's actually quite simple to do by editing the registry. Now before we get into that it goes without saying that to check the version and build uh, in Windows 10 and Windows 11 in the stable version it's actually um, quite simple to do and there are simple ways to do this without having a watermark on your desktop and as I do frequent on a regular basis we can just head to the search and enter WinVer which takes us to about Windows and that will obviously show you the version and the build of the operating system and then an another simple way is just to head to your settings menu in both operating systems the system page scroll down and click on about and that will also show you your version and build but if you'd like to get the watermark um, showing and displayed here in the bottom right hand corner of your desktop as mentioned we have to edit the registry and to do this I would just suggest right clicking on the start menu click on run in the field enter reg edit click on ok and this will open the registry editor in both operating systems now as i always suggest before uh, fiddling around in the registry just go to your file and export your registry it doesn't take very long and it's just a safety net so if anything does go wrong you can always import that backup at a later stage just as a safety net now we need to edit to re the registry and first of all we need, need to head to h key current user then when that's been expanded we expand control panel and then we click on desktop and then we head to the right hand pane and yeah we need to look for paint desktop version and there we go and once you've located paint desktop version just double click on that and yeah we get um, editing the d word value and we need to change that value which by default is set to zero in the stable version and we need to change that from zero to one and then once you've done that you click on OK and then you close the registry editor and then you'll have to restart uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11 and then when you've restarted you will see the version number on your desktop. Now just to show you this, that this actually works because obviously restarting my PC will take too long for the purpose of this video. I took a screenshot before and prior to posting this video and there we go we can see the uh, version and build of Windows 11 that I'm currently currently running in the stable version. So if I just zoom in here for the purpose of this video so you can see it better uh, in the video there we go Windows 11 home single language build 22621 and that's the latest uh, version and build of the stable version of Windows 11. So that's how you can add that watermark to the bottom right hand corner of your desktop in the stable version if that's something you'd like to do and obviously it goes without saying that um, if you want to reverse the process and undo the change you just repeat um, that whole process once again so um, you just have to head, head to the registry again H key control panel desktop double click on paint desktop version and then you change that value from one back to zero click on OK close the registry editor and then restart your device and once you've done that the watermark will once again be, be removed so that's just a quick way you can add and show the watermark in the stable version of Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.